you into a land flowing with milk and honey, alleluia, that the law of the Lord may always be with your heart, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his name. Tell the people what things he hath done. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord hath brought you into a land flowing with milk and honey. Alleluia. That the law of the Lord may always be in your heart. Alleluia. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be opened, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthy magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory be to God on high. And, and on earth, earth peace, good will towards men. We, we praise thee, we bless thee. We worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, man of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art the Most High in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, whose blessed Son did manifest himself to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open, we pray, to the eyes of our faith, that we may behold thee in all thy works, through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. 
men of Judea, and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs which God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This Jesus, delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. But God raised him up, having loosed the pangs of death, because it was not possible for him to be held by it. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand that I may not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will dwell in hope, for you will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor let your holy ones see corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Brethren, I may say to you confidently of the patriarch David that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Being therefore a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of Christ, that he was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh see corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that we are all witnesses. Being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this which you see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let Israel now confess that he is gracious and that his mercy endureth forever. Alleluia. Descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Alleluia. be with you. And with thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time, the women departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story had been spread among the Jews to this day. The 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. It may seem extraordinary to us, but some people believe that Jesus of Nazareth never existed, that it is purely something that was made up. But of course we know that uh, people have this great capacity to, as it were, try and distort what they know. Indeed, we know from historical evidence of the terrible things that happened in the 20th century. And yet there are people who deny the violence and cruelty, what happened in the camps in Europe where people were murdered. But this is a human trait and what we have been celebrating in these last days and continue to celebrate for Christ is risen is that we live not in our made-up truth, but in truth. And if you go back, all that, that we often sing um, at Christmas, but of course, in its um, oldest form, it never just stayed at Christmas, but this is the truth from above. Actually, if you go uh, further on into the the song, it talks of proclaiming, um, proclaiming the resurrection. Here in the gospel, that final part of it, as it were, was the chief priests um, trying to engineer the story to engineer that you know even if Jesus Christ did exist and of course they did know he existed because they'd had him tried and executed that he hasn't risen from the dead and all we have to do to make sure that people will know that he hasn't risen from the dead we go to these guards who are frightened for many reasons and are persuaded to put themselves in total jeopardy because can you believe that the chief priests thought well we'll be able to square it with Pilate for what these guards have done which would have been a capital crime being asleep on duty let alone guarding the tomb of a terrorist. And so they pay. And, you know, this story has been spread among the Jews of today, of, 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 of that day. And of course, yes, some Jews believed it, some didn't. Especially those who refused to believe it had the courage not to say, well, that's a load of rubbish because actually we know Jesus Christ is risen. And it is something that we have to be aware of because this human trait, and it's not a good human trait, to, as it were, manufacture stories um, if you want to put it even more succinctly, um, it, it's social engineering. And we are aware in our culture about social engineering. If you look at any of our television series, some of them are really quite joyful and lovely and it's all cute. But if I, I watched one uh, last night and then there was this little scene where one of the characters 
you know, says about the fact that, yes, she did have the baby, but it was her body and it was her choice. And of course, so everyone now sees this in their programs. But it's not true. And can you imagine, in one of those great programs that people love to watch, I love to watch them. I know it's terrible, isn't it? Uh, if, if you actually did put into it a storyline where you showed a 24-week-old fetus in all its beauty. And then, as was suggested to me today, as it will have within the dialogue, if you want it, it is a baby. If you do not, it is a collection of cells. And if you think further, remember we are celebrating life and the resurrection. If you think further, that child in the womb has the same rights as a Roman slave. A Roman slave could be terminated, could be killed, and everyone will say, absolutely right, because you, as it were, it's yours. And of course, we now know the idea of me, maybe say, I, I own Mark over there. And I say, well, actually, Mark's really upset me, so I'm going to take him out and kill him. It's okay, because he's my slave. And yet a child in a womb would have had those same rights. And we are here to celebrate the resurrection and all that it means. And that means life. And it is about standing up against all those times as portrayed in the gospel today, where people have tried to skew the truth or even worse, try to obliterate it. But when we do that, we become insular and isolated. We become our own gods and we end up away from what Christ has won for us, which is, of course, life abundant, life eternal. And it is always a joy on, on, on the Monday of the octave of Easter to constantly remind ourselves that when we celebrate the resurrection in its entirety, it is not divorced from Pentecost. Pentecost is all about being filled by the Holy Spirit to go out and say, yes, that Jesus existed, that Jesus died, we didn't nick his body, he is risen. And if we know that it is God who has died for our sins, risen for us, and that is not just us, but humanity, then our lives must be changed. And we must be like those two women who Jesus says, do not be afraid, and they worship him. They're filled with joy. And in these coming days, we will hear more and more stories of the joy to live in life and in death. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. stand and affirm our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, 
very God and very God, begotten and not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us, under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory, to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Draw in with faith and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. <coughs> Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. Remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. My Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those with heart of repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy on us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 He will come to words our Saviour Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travel and are heavy laden, that I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here also what St. John saith, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. The angel of the Lord descended from heaven and said unto the women, He whom you seek is risen. And he said, Alleluia. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of all creation, for thy bounty have we received this bread which we offer unto thee, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Whence she shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> <coughs> 
Blessed art thou, O Lord God of all creation, for of thy bounty we receive this wine which we offer unto thee, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, whence it shall become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept this sacrifice at thy hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We beseech you, Lord, mercy to accept the prayers and oblations of thy people, that this beginning of thy paschal mysteries may be the operation of thy grace, be unto us a wholesome medicine unto everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us, and hath taken away the sin of the world, who by his death hath destroyed death, and by his rising to life again hath won for us everlasting life. Therefore with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory, glory be to thee, O Lord, Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, most merciful Father, we humbly pray thee through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, and we ask that I accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices. We offer must thee first for thy holy Catholic Church, that thou vouch safe keep her in peace to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with thy servant Francis, our Pope, Keith, our Ordinary, and all the faithful guardians of the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids, especially for those for whom we now pray. Sharon, Fee, Brian, Roger, Barney, Adrian, Father John, Father Michael, Stephen, Malcolm, Mary, Vince, Karen, Claire, Sandra, Corazon, Anne, Hugh, Dinah, Michael, Pam, for His Majesty the King and for the Princess of Wales. And for all who here around us stand, whose faith is known unto thee, and their steadfastness manifest, on whose behalf we offer unto thee, all themselves offer unto thee this sacrifice of praise, for themselves and for all who are theirs, for the redemption of their souls, for the hope of their health and well-being, and who offer their prayers unto thee, the eternal God, the living and the true. United in one communion, we celebrate the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. We venerate, moreover, the memory first, the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of the same, our God and Lord Jesus Christ, our blessed Joseph, her spouse, as also thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Thaddeus, Linus, Clasus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cassoglos, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien and of all thy saints. Grant that by their merits and prayers we may in all things be defended with the help of thy protection. We beseech thee then, O Lord, graciously to accept this oblation from us thy servants and from thy whole family. We present it unto thee on behalf also of those whom thou hast vouchsafed to regenerate by water and the Holy Spirit, granting unto them remission of all their sins. 
order thou our days in thy peace, and bid us to be delivered from eternal damnation, and to be numbered in the fold of thine elect. For our safe, O God, we beseech thee in all things to make this oblation blessed, approved, and accepted, a perfect and worthy offering, that it may become for us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Who the day before he suffered, took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God, his almighty Father, giving thanks to thee, he blessed, broke, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Likewise, after supper, taking also this goodly chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks that he blessed and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim thy death, Lord, and profess thy resurrection. come again. Wherefore, Lord, we thy servants and thy holy people also, remember the blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord, as also his resurrection from the dead, and his glorious ascension to heaven. To offer unto thine excellent majesty of thine own gifts and bounty, the pure victim, the holy victim, the immaculate victim the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Thou art safe to look upon them with a merciful and pleasant countenance and to accept them even as thou didst thou safe to accept the gifts of thy servant Abel the righteous and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham and the holy sacrifice of the immaculate victim which thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto thee. We humbly beseech you, almighty God, command these offerings to be brought by the hands of thy holy angels, thine altar on high, in sight of thy divine majesty, that all we who at this partake of the altar shall receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be fulfilled with heavenly benediction and grace. Remember also, Lord, thy servants and handmaids who have gone before us, sealed with the seal of faith, who sleep the sleep of peace. For Morris and for Sarah, to them, O Lord, and to all the rest in Christ, beseech to grant the abode of refreshing, of light, and of peace. To our sinners also thy servants who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, vouchsafe to grant some part and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, with all thy saints, within whose fellowship we beseech ye admit us not weighing our merit, but granting us forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom, O Lord, thou dost ever create all these good things, to sanctify, quicken, bless, and bestow them upon us. By whom and with whom and in whom, to thee, O Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all honour and glory throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. As our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech ye from all evils past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and with Andrew and all the saints. Faith will grant peace in our days, that by the help of thine availing mercy, we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all distress. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to thine apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of thy church, and grant to her peace and unity according to thy will. Be livest and reigneth with the Father and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with thy spirit. spirit. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Alleluia. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this blessed and merciful Lord. Trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and in great mercies, we are not worthy so much as gather up the crumbs under thy table. But thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is risen indeed, and hath appeared unto Peter. Alleluia. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Walking in a garden at the close of day Adam tried to hide him God say, why are you so frightened? Why are you afraid? You have brought the winter in, made the flowers fade. Walking in a garden where 
blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are thy members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son. The blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of the most precious death and passion of thy dear Son. We humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works, as thou, thou hast prepared, prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit be your honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech you, O Lord, pour into our hearts thy spirit of charity, that as thou hast now fulfilled us with this paschal sacrament, so we may by thy mercy be enabled to dwell together in unity and concord through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. To his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.
rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. O Lord, is risen Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that brought joy to the world, grant we beseech thee that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may attain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.